So, you will not believe what just happened. You will not believe it. But first, we will start with I'm Ray from the Teach Better team, and I have the fabulous Tiffany Ott with me. And we are going to talk about Twitter, our massive, awesome Twitter chat that we just had, which you hosted. Yes. Is, like I, okay, you shouldn't have done that. Like I, I should have introduced you. Okay, here we go again. Hi, I'm Tiffany, and this is Ray, the awesome host of tonight's mastery chat. You know, Tiff, that would be really effective if the first time we tried to go live, we weren't streaming to a random channel on Facebook. This is now <laughs> take two of our Facebook Live today, and we only realized that you guys couldn't see us live because there were no comments, and we knew that somebody knew out there, watching. somebody out there on our Teach Better team was watching, right? Like all of our normal people, you know, we're like 16 minutes late, and it's because we were live at 8.05. You just weren't there. <laughs> Well, I was sitting there and I was like, it said zero viewers. I'm like, yeah, that's not right. There, We never have zero viewers. So guys, we were talking. We were having a grand old time. Mm -hmm. And uh, you just weren't there. And so I don't, you know, I don't know that we could tell, our, tell them all the secrets we exposed in those first five minutes of live streaming on a random secrets. channel. All the secrets. I mean, it's not like we haven't said enough secrets lately, right? Oh my but gosh, anywho, I know. anywho, this is Ray. Ray is awesome. She hosted our chat tonight. We are so excited. I mean... Y'all know we love Ray. Ray's like, Ray's one of us. We love her. She's fabulous. She's always fabulous. But I stinking loved tonight's chat. And one of the reasons I loved it, Ray, is because there was such a variety of answers that people were giving. So for those of you who don't know, the topic was like really teach better. How, how, do, how are we better? How are we better in all these different ways in education and how can we pursue better? So each question... Like, right, run through the list. What were the different, like... Gosh, there, was, there were so many, but it was manage better, assess uh -huh. better, connect better. You know, it's all trying to have this focus of growth, right? We want, we've done so many things this week. You know, when we were live earlier, Tiffany and I reflected a lot about how we've been traveling and this these yeah. weeks have been crazy. And actually, starting now, at least for my schedule and Tiffany, you echoed the same. It is like go, go, go until school starts. I'm at conferences, we're doing trainings. I mean, we just got really busy really fast. And as we're doing that and thinking about the school year, it, we really need to find time to sit down with our Master Chat family and talk about how are we just gonna kill this year? Like, how are we gonna be the right. best we can possibly be? And not just as people, but in specific areas that really matter in education. So I loved being able to hone in on a specific topic, like assess better, and, yeah. and then give feedback on, okay, so what are some quick tips? How can we actually do that? Well, no, it was just, it, it was so cool because there were so many different interpretations of assess better and of pursue better and of all these different things that like I was just reading, I am going to spend hours reading these comments because there was such a variety of things people were saying. And and real quick, I'm, I'm going to talk about somebody's tweet like near the end of the chat. And it was... I have to find it. I had so many that oh I gosh. loved. I think question seven was my favorite, but it was uh -huh. more about the, the lead up. So if you don't mind, I'm going to blab for a second. No, but like please, go. the first question in the chat asked the group to define what better was. And I loved being able to read people's responses because they more or less had this like idea of growth, but there were so many tips and tricks and, and how they've really come to their understanding of the term yeah better because it just, which was a huge discussion on our team when we were trying to rename our company right go from Absolutely. the grid method which is using mastery better but then we're transitioning into everything else our team does becoming the teach better team we focus on grading better connecting better mastering mm -hmm. you know personalized learning better and so it was really cool to see and then sorry to keep talking no go for it all the questions had to do with specific things being better but the last question was my favorite because it came at the very end of the chat. So you just gotten all these incredible resources, made fabulous connections. And then the last question was, okay, so how do you teach better? And there were so many responses that I was reading. I was like, kind of like choking up over here. Yeah. I'm like in my living room by myself. <laughs> like, oh my God. But there were so many people saying, you know, this is really what I need. I, I want to strive to consistently say better, you know, I want to take this from this part of the conversation and this one and then put them together and that's going to make me better. And the coolest so thing cool. about this PLN is that you, you can just pull from all of these different ideas and 
smush them together in a better way. I, you know, I have a lot to say. I always have a lot to say. I'm sorry, guys. I'm just going to talk. Um, a couple things came to mind when you were talking about that question seven. Yes, Jeff, so many different responses to Ray's question. And I love Marissa's comment. The setup for tonight's chat was on point. That's because Ray's awesome. Anywho, so there was a, a comment for question seven that somebody said, I cringe a bit when we talk about teaching better. Better than who, what, et cetera. And, and I love so much that she put that comment because to me, it is never about better than anyone else. It's never about better than anything else. It's about better than me yesterday. It's about where am I now? Where was I? How have I changed? And how can I continue that growth tomorrow? Absolutely. So that was just, it, I'm so glad she said that because it made me think how many other people maybe had that misconception of the way we're talking about teach better. And it's not at all about teaching better than the person down the hall or teaching better than somebody. It doesn't matter. It's about teaching better than yourself. And that's what I love about this so, so much. So that was really cool. And there was such a focus during this time on students. You know, when it came to assess better, manage better, connect better, uh, teach better, all of them was, well, I have to do this because my, my kids deserve it, right? Mm -hmm. That's a little cliche. I hosted the Kids Deserve It chat yesterday. And it's, just, it's a great hashtag because it truly gets at the core of what we yeah. do. We're doing things for our students, for our kids. And so right. when that when that shift of, okay, guys, tell me, how are you going to manage better? It sounds very, you know, administrative. And then people's response was, well, I have to find a way to manage better because my students deserve me to continue growing because, because I'm asking them every single day to continue their own growth. Yeah. And I love yeah. that that was the emphasis tip. That was a great tweet to bring up. Well, and it's, you know, our mindset of teaching better models for the students what we want them to emulate, right? It, it's not about being perfect. It's not about what Joey did or what Susie did. It's about what you did yesterday and that growth. And so I just love that connection because it's so awesome. <laughs> yeah. You know, I, I've seen a lot of this philosophy of wanting to better yourself in our private Facebook group chat that we yes. have. Yes. Um, the reason I love it is because in that private group, the Teach Better private group on Facebook, I've yeah. been able to connect actually individually. We've been doing a lot of like one-on-one -on -one Google Hangout phone calls with teachers yeah. that are really trying to dig deep on how they're going to do better than themselves yesterday, you know, for this coming school year. Yeah. And one they just talked about, talked to today, and I won't embarrass her, but she knows who she is. Um, <laughs> we focused all on this huge progression she's made, right? I connect with her. It must have been a year ago, if not longer. Really? And this is a teacher that constantly has questions, constantly trying new things. And we yeah. talked about the grid method, which is our mastery framework. We yeah. talked a lot about standard-based grading as well. And hearing her progression from starting where you're, you know, assessing a test and taking off half credit because you didn't write your name on the paper, to then trying mm -hmm. to transfer into more like a standard-based grading philosophy, but still having like one foot in the traditional system and one foot yeah. in SPG. Yeah. Yeah. But, then, but then eventually we ended our conversation and this is like, you know, 20 steps in that she's needed to take this huge leap. Right. And then right. she's like, I'm going to do it this year. I'm, I'm in. And it was like, wow, this is, this is what teaching better is, right? We're constantly yeah. putting up this yeah. risk of failing forward and then doing best, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Well, and, and and I, I think uh, Marissa just claimed that she was the one you were talking to today. She <laughs> she said, I don't care if the world knows, I'm improving. So that's She's an fabulous. All -star. That's she fabulous. Is. Yeah. But Ray, this chat came at such an awesome time for us. And for those of you watching, you probably know, but if you don't, we are no longer uh, the grid method. We are teach better. And that is because fundamentally that is what we believe in helping support teachers like Marissa find ways that they can take where they were yesterday and be better and teach better. And so we have this, this name change. If you're watching that, Oh, hang on. I got to read this, Megan. I know this day Sorry, may not work tomorrow, better. next year, or the next few years, every student is different and we have to shape and mold ourselves to be better for every group of students we get. 
Yes. I love that focus on like shaping and molding ourselves, right? We get yes. all different types of students. Not everything works for every kid. So we right. need to be flexible to reach those students. Yeah. There's no magical unicorn that's going to fix every single thing, right? Like we have to, we have to be flexible. We have to move and bend and sway. Um, Ah, oh, amped up for the school year. I am too. I'm really stoked. I mean, I've got two weeks of travel ahead of me before the school year actually starts, but I'm like, students, students, students. <laughs> I'm so excited. We're going to keep the energy going because even while we're traveling for all these conferences and training stuff, yeah. we are going to be working with teachers that are so amped for their kids. It just keeps our energy up. Brandon's a great example of an all-star teacher that's just eager for the classroom. Oh, yeah, I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Oh, okay. So cool. But so we have the Teach Better name change. And then for those of you who are not aware, there is going to be a Teach Better conference in the fall of 2019. <laughs> so you guys will all be there because you have to, because we love you. You are such an integral part of our Mastery Chat family mm -hmm. and our, our family here at Teach Better. And so we want you to be at the conference fall of 2019. Keep that in mind. Tiffany, I think the best way to describe what the Teach Better conference is going to be like. Yeah. It's like two or three days of mastery chat every hour. Like, <laughs> it's just going to be an epic blending of all-star, amazing, passionate teachers. I'm worried that we're all going to explode afterwards because the energy will be so high. But you have not, you've not seen anything yet, y'all. It's going to be crazy at the Teach Better conference next fall. I imagine we will need lots of naps when the conference is over. I mean, it's going to be a couple days of just nonstop and buckle up guys. It's going to be quite the ride because you know, we've got some energy, <laughs> but so it's going to be so good. Um, real quick, pop up Jeff's comment. Ooh, Jeff. Don't Y'all change my mind on how to teach. Oh, Jeff, you're the best. I love Jeff. He's exploring our mastery framework, the grid method. Yay. And Jeff, I feel so bad. I didn't get to give you feedback on your last grid, but you send them to me again and I'm all yours. I love all the hard work you're doing, so keep it up. Yeah, send us stuff. And if if it gets lost in the landslide of messages we get, just send it again and again. Yeah. And we, we, it's not that we don't like you. We, we love you. Have a landslide. So we love you and we want your stuff and we wanna share with you. So let's see, Ray, pick out a couple favorite moments from this chat. Anything stand out for you? You know, I really loved, I think I said it earlier. I really oh, hang loved, on, hang on. I gotta pause you. I gotta pause you. Jackie, the fall conference is not this fall. It's going to be the fall of 2019. So you guys have a year to plan and to organize and figure out how you're gonna get to Akron, Ohio, because that is where it's all going down. Hey, who are my who are my Illinois people? Jackie, Susan, Mark, we're all road tripping together. Let's go. You'll, <laughs> yeah. It'll be girl. a really big van. Oh, I love this. Thank you for what you do. I'm excited to get started and apply the grid method. Yay, that's so exciting. I love using it in my classroom. So if you have any awesome, questions, Carla. reach out. Yeah, so Ray, you're so good at answering everybody's questions. No, like, I'm so awesome. You, you I, do I, like I, crazy. Don't be silly. No, um, I was just, I'm impressed with you. Okay, go ahead. All right, so, <laughs> so tell us what stood out for you. What right, stood out? Um, I am totally biased, Tiff. You know that I love sixth grade students. You know that I love yeah. mastery mastery style of instruction in the classroom, all that stuff. But my favorite was when teachers were talking about how they were going to connect, right? Connect of better. Of course it was. It was because a lot of teachers took it the Twitter route, right? The PLN, growing your yeah. PLN, which I loved, didn't even think of, but totally got there <laughs> once they said that. <laughs> because their vision of connecting better is growing your network, which is so important. And I was right, so thrilled right, right. to see teachers be appreciative and talk about, you know, like the PLN connections they've made, especially in mastery chat. So fun. Right. But I didn't go that way, Tiff. Of I, course not. We all I know that you are the queen of community connections. So where did you take it, Ray? Well, I just took it to the community, right? I was trying yeah. to figure out how to connect the real world more purposefully in the classroom. And this was actually the topic of a chat that I had done late earlier this week, where we really trying to find yeah. authentic ways to immerse our students in their real world and their why, so that the learning becomes intentional and engaging and effective and um, almost like so students have a, have a taste for it, right? Yeah. Because when they know their why, when they know what they're working towards or better yet what's coming so they need to be prepared for it and not just coming like in 20 years but right. creating those experiences for like 
today and tomorrow, that's where I love that connection element. It was so cool to see teachers talking about that. And a lot of teachers are talking about how they're trying the teach further model in their classroom ah, next year. I am so cool. <laughs> I'm in the planning stages. I'm going to do it. I'm oh, Tiff, I'm it. so excited for you. It's good. It's good. It's good. You know, I, I love that that's what kind of drew your attention. And anybody who has ever worked with me knows that I like numbers and assessments and data and using that data to inform instruction. So the assessment question was so much fun for me. I love that question. But before I dive into it, I want to uh, shout out to Megan, who's going to road trip with you. Oh, Megan, yes. Awesome. Um, Elizabeth, hi. Hello. Thanks for saying hi. I love your uh, Facebook frame on your picture. Oh, if so cool. you guys don't know how to get that Facebook frame, um, you go up and you edit your profile picture on your page. And then you search, you, you like add a frame and you search teach better. And then you can get that frame on your picture too, which by the way, enters you in a contest for some awesome prizes. Ten, we'll touch on that. 10 awesome prizes. Yeah, so that's really awesome. And and Jeff, the whole team is starting out using the grid next year, which is awesome. Hello. Okay, so anyway, so assessment. I love assessment. I, I you know, standardized assessment gets a bad rap and I get it, that's great. But daily formative assessment is so powerful for learning. So everybody's ideas on assessing better just really made me like, and speaking of that, I think now would be a really good time to talk about the poll results. What do you think? Really good. But one more thing. Yeah. Um, I loved that assessment led to talking about feedback as well. That was super cool. But oh, yeah, absolutely. The poll. Love the poll. Oh, hang on. We've got questions. We got to, we got to do questions. Okay. Nice. Who's um, up well, first? First, uh, how about Angela? Angela. Saying that you're the queen of community. Yeah. Girl, you can be the queen of community with me. Yeah. Oh, so Angela, you're taking the modules, the, the Teach Further course. I love that because I am also working through the modules. And I have to say, Ray, one of my favorite parts of the, the Teach Further kind of philosophy yeah. is when you talk about bringing in the five senses and really having them like feel it. You know what I mean? So I'm planning my first Teach Further unit. And um, I, I am already planning on getting like one of those. So the theme is location, location, location. It's like a real estate kind Ooh. of thing. And I'm going to get a hard hat because my husband's an engineer and can get me a hard hat. I'm going to put sawdust in it and, and wear it. And then when I get in the classroom, I'm going to take it off. So there's going to be like sawdust and it's going to smell like sawdust. And I'm going to be like, oh my gosh, you think they tell you when they're sending you to a house that's at a job site. It's going to be great. Oh my and God. I think I'm going to bring in cookies because it's like, Oh, so and so had an open house, but nobody showed up. So here's cookies for you guys. It's so I'm really loving the five senses. If you guys have no idea what I'm talking about, you should probably go check out uh, Ray's Teach Further course at TeachBetterAcademy.com. There is a free course that will give you a, a lot of the goodness, but there's also a full course if you're like ready to dive in. So you're I like you. you're like giving me chill. I'm so <laughs> excited. <laughs> Like, I don't know what is wrong with me, but people talk about trying something in their classroom and, you know, teach for their special place in my heart. And it's like, oh my God, I'm like totally choking up. I love it. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I love it. So the other thing we need to say, um, Gemma, yeah, I'm guessing Gemma. is how we say it. Um, okay. So she says, is the grid more for K-12 or can it be used for higher ed? And the answer is both. Um, we have had people use use the grid method approach for mastery learning in early elementary all the way up to college. So actually, um, Chad, the guy who kind of came up with the whole structure, Chad Ostrowski, who is amazing. amazing. Uh, his wife, Amelia is a college professor and she uses the grid method at the college level. Wow. So if you're stuck on how to actually like see that in action or how to make that work, always reach out. Always, always, Gemma, okay? Well, and I have to tell you, Tiff, Illinois State University in Central Illinois is now going to be teaching a class using the grid method as well. So there's exciting university what? things. We'll talk more about that later, but exciting things going on in the university oh. realm of focusing on mastery learning with teachers and students. This is how it should be. Everybody, teach them better. And um, just, um, you know, Brandon yeah. says you need to record yourself dumping sawdust all over you. We really uh, want to see that. And Angela I, agrees. I will try to make that happen. Yep. <laughs> I have I have grand plans. Sometimes my grand plans don't about happen don't always go through, but we're gonna make it work. 
you can Rachel do it. hold me accountable and now all of you can hold me accountable too because i said live to the whole wide world what i'm going to be doing it's true okay so i want to get back to the chat because your chat was amazing and i think everybody watching this knows that your chat is the bee's knees and we were talking about assessing better and i said that that's like my totally dorky geek out love the data and the numbers well the poll result for those of you who didn't see the poll uh we have started doing a weekly poll during mastery chat that doesn't mimic the questions but kind of coordinates with the questions if you yeah. will yeah. so the poll this week was which area do you think you have the most room for improvement in your journey to teach better and so i pulled four of the question topics manage better assess better connect better and design better so like designing learning better oh. and I want to talk to the 31% of people that say that they need to work on assessing better because y'all got to connect with me. Uh, we can talk assessment and it will be yeah. awesome because you can build some amazing assessments with DOK levels and free assessments and formative assessments. And it's just beautiful. So we need to talk assessments. And that was the highest score. Wow. More people than anybody else said that they wanted to improve on assessing better. Now I will say it was close. Oh, it was really close because Managing better was 28% and designing learning better was also 28%. Wow. Yeah, so no. here's what I think happened with connecting better because okay. it was 13%. I think that everybody that took the poll who are the fabulous Twitter folk yeah. and connect like daily with amazing Twitter folk also, yeah. they were interpreting that, in, interpreting? Interpreting? Interpreting that question the way most of the people in the chat did, which was connecting with a PLN. Sure. So I'm curious if it, if it like connecting with your community or connecting with the real world better, like I'm curious what that would have been. But all those people who said assessment, reach out to me. We got to talk y'all because I love assessments. You know, it's interesting, Tiff. I love your polls in, in the mastery chat because people are, you're really able to get more information from what our PLN is, is thirsty for, right? Yes. And to yes. be able to talk assessment, you know, we do assessment trainings all the time. And so to right. be able to think about how, okay, maybe we need to provide that to more of our, our teach better team, right? right? How can we, how can we do more PD on that within maybe our private Facebook group? That would be a cool outlet. Yeah. yeah. Actually, so maybe, top, maybe we'll have to hop on and do some assessment videos tomorrow. Seriously. Or, or the yeah. top three of those answers. We've been right. doing a, a poll, kind of like a monthly poll or so in our private Facebook group right. and doing videos on what's voted the highest. So maybe that should be our next poll and we can ask our private group what they want and make sure that they get those videos as much as possible. Deal. Deal. We'll make it happen. Love okay, it. so any other thoughts from the chat? Because I think we've been chatting, we we're, we like to talk, guys. Sorry, it's been like half an hour. <laughs> All right, wow. any last thoughts, Ray? My last thought is just that I love Mastery Chat. I have had a very long week and was kind of in a grumpy mood because I was so... <laughs> tired. I need some sleep. I'm a sleep <laughs> sleeper. But um, I just, every time I get on Thursday night, hashtag mastery chat, I'm so re-energized. And it's, I love talking to you, Tiff. You always re-energize me, but it, it's the whole collection of people that's a part of this yeah. chat that I just love. And while I was very fortunate to have hosted three, uh, two other chats this week, this is just always one that has a special place in my heart. It's always going to win, right? <laughs> and I love it. You know, Ames chat was so fun because it's the middle school people. I love that piece. Right, so right. come join that if you're not a part of it. Kids deserve it. I mean, getting to hang out with Adam Welcome on Monday and then that be able was to so it. fun. Actually, I mean, we yeah. we've connected so much online. It was really cool talking to him in person. Oh, speaking of that, I, I need to just say real quick. All right, all y'all. If you see us in public, at a conference, wherever, yeah. you got to come talk to us. Come say we hi. actually had somebody who, who was nervous to come talk to us, and we don't want that to ever happen because we are literally just people who love talking. So you see us, just come. We're yes. really not that fancy. We, yes. we, we sit in our offices and talk about education and geek out together. That's we all do. we do. So we got to talk to Adam Welcome, who's a really cool guy. If you're at a conference, just go up to him, chat with him. He's Brand awesome. New book. He just yeah. released Run Like a Pirate. It was released on Monday. And so there you go. I have it right here. Love it. I think and I've so, read two pages so far because I need to keep going. <laughs> but like getting to connect with him and then hosting a chat Wednesday was so cool. But yeah. just still, I know I said this already, but Mastery Chat is just so special because you have such an array of teachers from all over the world. And we just love education. So thank you so much for all of you that 
participated. It meant so much to me. And I hope you got something out of it because I care about you. And and real quick, before we, we kind of wrap up with the mushy, feel good, love all of you feelings, because those are totally valid. And I like to end with those mushy, feel good feelings. Uh, real quick, guys, I want to run down some of the things that are happening that we've announced this week so that you know and don't miss out on all the great stuff. So number one, if you're watching this video, you've probably recognized that it now says Teach Better Team as to where this video is coming from. And that is because we are no longer just the grid method. We do so much more than the grid method. We still love the grid method. We still talk about mastery learning like yeah. all the time and really always will. But we wanted to reflect really what this chat tonight was all about, that we are in a constant pursuit to teach better. So that's number one, the name change. So don't get confused. Number two, November 2019 Teach Better Conference. And we're going to be there and you're going to be there and it's going to be great. There are no details available yet besides November of 2019. But they're coming. We've got over a year. Don't worry. We will keep you very well informed. Number three, Ray, what's the third thing we want them to know? The third thing, well, can I talk about our teacher Teach Better Talk podcast that yeah. is being released in August? Yeah, really we, soon. Yeah, so Jeff and I are co-hosting a Teach Better Talk podcast that will be all over iTunes, all those normal places. Yeah. And we are literally connecting with teachers, hearing their story, talking about what they're excited about in education, talking about their tips and tricks for starting the year or continuing the year strong. And it's awesome. It's so cool. We've already <laughs> recorded like six episodes and we are going to release in late August. So stay tuned. I cannot wait to share this with you. I am really, really excited. And uh, Brandon, that's his name, right? B. Yep. Davey. Because yeah. I, yeah. Okay. Brandon. Brandon said he loves talking. So <laughs> we love talking to Brandon and, and we love having stories from educators who are out there pursuing teaching better. And that's what Teach Better Talk is all about. The stories of teachers who are pushing, pushing, pushing. Can I say one thing about this? Yeah. I was on the Google Hangout talking to Marissa about her classroom earlier today. Yeah. And she literally like gave me a to-do list of videos she would like for me. Oh, deal. <laughs> I was like, girl, I started this conversation talking about how busy I was. And she's like, it's okay. It's just a few more, Ray. I was like, you're hysterical. All right. You know, I, no, I love that she did that. Guys, if there's something that you want to hear us talk about, like you want to hear our take on, I don't know, the way kids write their names on a paper or like anything. If you want to hear us like do a vlog about it or talk about it, just let us know because oh. we need 5 million more videos to record besides the one Jeff assigns to us. I, I think have I have about, two I have to do tomorrow. <laughs> I, have, I have 15 on my to-do list right now. Oh my. Yeah. Okay. So get ready. <laughs> So we've got the name change, the Teach Better Conference, November 2019, Teach Better Talk coming in Podcast. August next Podcast. month. Mm -hmm. And then we are also kind of, because we're so excited about all these new things and we want to bring you into the excitement, we are giving away a whole billion, million bunches of things, right? 10 prizes. And I'm going to tell you real quick how to get those prizes. You need to, <sighs> okay, if you're on Facebook, Go, well, you're on Facebook right now. So this is going to be easy for you. You go to your profile and you click edit profile picture. And then it says like you can search frames to add a frame to your picture. Search Teach Better. Pop it up on your Facebook uh, profile picture for at least the next week. Really just put it on forever because you love us. Um, and then just comment on the Teach Better page that you did it and how you're going to try and teach better this year in school. If you would rather do it on Twitter, just post how you're going to teach better this year using the hashtag teach better. Tag us in it too, because we'd love to see that. Oh, please so that's tag how you us. Win. Yes. And then what are the things they can win, right? Oh my gosh, there's so many. Tip, I'm yeah. going to start with, with a grouping that we're giving away five of something. And we're giving away five all access to all of the courses. Five, what is it called? A subscription? Five free subscriptions, <laughs> right? I was like, what's the word? Literally, you get all the courses on the Teach Better Academy. And then mm -hmm. when courses are added, which I can tell you there's going to be about five or six before December added to this. Yeah, they're it's coming. All, it's all included. Everything, it's, a, it's just completely free forever for life. I can't even believe yeah. it's a prize, but it is. And we're giving away five yeah. of them. Five of them to get every course we have and every course we will ever have down the road for free 
just by entering this comp this contest, five are being given away. But then there's more. There's more. Why don't well, you I'm gonna say the next one? I'm gonna say the next yeah. one because I love this one. Sure. Um, if you are as, as obsessed about Teachers Pay Teachers as I am, you're gonna love this next prize because we are giving away two gift cards to Teachers Pay Teachers, which is fabulous. And then we're giving away two gift cards to what? Amazon. Love Amazon. Amazon. And then what's the last thing we're giving away, Ray? Oh no, that's all you, Tiff. Big, big announcement. I can't remember which one it was. <laughs> I know we were debating between two things. Wait, now I'm, I feel like I have it wrong. Five subscriptions, right? Uh -huh. Two Amazon, two uh -huh. teachers pay teachers. What's that big thing? I don't want to say the wrong thing. Oh, I'm like really goodness. nervous here. <laughs> anyway, uh, something else that somebody's going to help us out and tell us what it is. Amber, Amber. <laughs> We're losing it. Megan, Wait. you want to win the free classes. Well, you guys need to tune in next Monday yeah. because Ray and I are going live and we'll probably laugh the whole time and yeah. have a really good time as we draw names for the people who win. Wait, what do you think the prize is? Can you like hint it to me secretly and I can tell you if that's right? The thing that Jeff and Chad gave us when we came on the team. I don't know what that is. <laughs> I've gotten so many gifts. I lost mine in... Atlanta. Oh my gosh, we're giving away a Kindle Fire! Okay. <laughs> wow, I can't believe 10 people are still watching us after that. Like, 11. Chaos. 11. We're, Thanks, we're giving away a Kindle Fire as the final yes. prize. I'm so sorry we forgot. <laughs> Five Teach Better Academy memberships, two Teacher Pay Teacher, two Amazon gift cards, and a Kindle Fire. And I think, I think that's it, right? Oh my gosh. I have to answer one question and then we yeah. can go because y'all, I'm so sorry for our craziness. But she asked if we could join the Google Hangout. I will Google Hangout with you anytime you want. If you just want to direct message me or sometimes in our private group, if you ask a question, I will pop mm -hmm. in and be like, hey, let's talk through this. And Google Hangout's the easiest way. So if you ever, anyone out there, want to have a conversation with me, Tiff, Chad, Jeff, we are always around to share and always Absolutely. happy to like take time to talk through things rather than like sending email or messages. It's so fun. Marissa and I had a Google Hangout today. I Google Hangout with Judith earlier this week. I mean, there's so many opportunities to collaborate. You know what we should do, right? Yeah. Just having like a, a, an, a vision. Why don't we host like, Jeff and Chad are gonna kill us. Why don't we host like a, a regular Google Hangout where like you and I are on there and it's just an open invite to anybody else that wants to come into Google Hangout and talk about stuff. I would love to do that. Can somebody post a time that would be good for them and Tiff and I will figure it out. Yeah, Jeff yeah. says we've lost our minds. That may be true, Jeff. We've yeah. had a crazy week. <laughs> just wait two weeks from now when we've been on the road for two weeks <laughs> and it's just, Okay. We've been on the road for five days. To be frank, I mean, I've already lost my mind. <laughs> I know. But we've been working with teachers and we're happy. We're giving away prizes. We we're love you good. all. We love you all. Thank you for joining us in this endless pursuit to teach better and be better than we were yesterday. And all that that means. We love you guys. Love you guys. See you later. Bye.